In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make an IDX Broker quick search widget using the map search. So what you're going to do first is you're going to log into your IDX Broker dashboard and you're going to come into designs and widgets and I typically always start at the manage level. Um, you can come over here and click on add a widget or you can go under widgets and you can click create a widget to get started. And the first thing you're going to do is choose map search and then coming down here we're going to make the map search. Now on the equity theme work, the only thing that's different about this, um, one, of the, one of the different themes, actually two of them, prime location and why I set them curb, call for a map widget on the home page and in that case you're going to choose no um, for no for responsive. Typically then the height width is going to be 1200 and the height is 500. However if you're just making a map search for a regular page on your site, I would choose responsive. So equity theme work, you're going to choose no, and you're going to put the width and the height. A regular theme or a regular page, that, and that's for the equity theme work on the home page. For any other page, you're going to choose yes. Give your widget a name, be descriptive so you know which page you're coming back to so that you can edit it in the future. And in this case, I'm going to do Sarasota Community Page. So I'm making a community page about Sarasota, and I want to throw a map search in there. So I'm going to give it the name. Default property type, I'm going to leave it residential. I am not going to put a price on this. Um, type of map, I'm going to leave it the road map because I like the road map, although you can change it to satellite or hybrid, which is a combination of road map and satellite. And you can switch between this after you've made the map search as well, so you can see which ones you like best. Now, this is the most difficult per part for everybody, is to find the latitude and longitude. You can choose via address if you want, and put in a street address and a postal code. I usually come to Google and go to Maps, type in City and State, and find my location. Now, in this case, it's going to show you the latitude and longitude right here. Here's the latitude and here is the longitude. It's also showing you the zoom level. So right now it's at a 13. If you like this but you want to kind of zoom in a little bit more, zoom in a little bit more. Um, you can also move the map around and notice that the latitude and longitude are changing. So if you wanted to maybe say Sarasota was more your main area that you wanted to kind of uh, center in on your map, you could go right in on Sarasota and then zoom out a little bit and get that exact latitude and longitude. And if the island, Bird Key Island and Lido Key were also a major part, you might want to center in on that instead. Center your map, zoom out so you get your area, and then grab your latitude and longitude there. So I'm going to go ahead and go right back in and center in on Sarasota. Let Google do the work for me. Grab my latitude first. And then my longitude. And the zoom is set at 13 at this level. Here's where you're going to set your default zoom. Going to a higher number is going to bring you in close up, closer. Bringing you out is going to bring you um, away further. So in this case, I'm going to go ahead and stay at the 13. And the last part, um, map pin clustering, enabled or disabled. If you're in a pretty rural area, you want to leave this as disabled. If you're in a pretty um, congested area, it's more city, there's lots of condos, especially condos because properties stack up on top of each other in buildings, then you want to have this enabled. You can turn it on and see what it looks like and see if you like it and always turn it off and come back and change it later if you don't. And lastly, the page that the map will be used on. So right here I've already created my new page. I've named it Sarasota. The URL is Sarasota FL Homes for Sale. So what I need to do is I need to grab that URL. Now mind, keep in mind that if you change the name of this page or you nest it under a different page, a parent page let's say, then the URL changes and you must also change it here. The map is directly dependent upon the URL. So we're going to go ahead and paste that in there and then we're going to click build widget. Now it's going to give you two different pieces of code. If you have an equity code, you can skip the second part and automatically go straight to the first. If you don't have an equity code, then you need to put this code in here. 
So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and grab my widget code, which is this portion, and inside the text editor I'm going to paste this in. And I'm going to update the code. Now if I just go view the page after this, it's not going to work. Or I lied. It does work. <laughs> so the code might be already in this site. It shouldn't actually though. Um, this is going to show you what it looks like with the pin clustering. So you can see the pin clustering. And if you watch real quick, um, I can take the pin clustering off and it will and see how it shows just the little houses. So I can also zoom in a little bit more if I want. Notice how all I have to do is save the widget now since the code is already in. And it will zoom in. If you don't see this right away, give it a couple of minutes. Sometimes it takes a minute for the cache to clear. So now the other thing is adding in that extra code. Here. So this is basically um, a reference to the maps pro map providers library and it can go anywhere on the page but they want you to put it in the head section so you could put it into here but my suggestion is to put it into the head of the theme. So if your theme has a section where you can automatically add in special code then you want to add that here. And then the Avada theme, for example, that would be right here. So I'm going to add that in there. And that way I only have to do this once. And any other uh, map widgets I make, I do not need to do this. So the page, if I refresh it, shouldn't change. Should work just exactly the same. But the code that um, I needed to add had to go in the head. And I would always recommend you put it into the theme options of the theme. Don't mess with the actual functions of the theme itself. And that's it. And again, reminder, if you have an equity theme, you do not need to do this. You can skip this step. That's it. If you have any questions, give us a call at 517-917-0582. We'd love to help you out. Or email us at support at yoursiteneedsme.com. Yeah.